raise your hand if you find that the default auto settings inside Camera Raw make your photos look like crap. All right, so if you've got your hand raised, then you have indeed run into uh, the same problem that I've run into a lot of times. And let me flip over to Bridge here and show you. And it is that Camera Raw, when I open up a raw file, seems to want to use these auto settings that it always seems to want to overexpose my photos and uh, in turn make them look like crap. Now, I don't really need any help with that. And while I appreciate Camera Raw's guidance in this matter, uh, I really have found that I, I, I prefer to just have it turned off and, uh, and, and I'll work my own raw settings by themselves. So if that has indeed happened to you, uh, follow along this tutorial. I'll show you why it happens, what happens, and how we can turn it off. So the first thing that you'll see here, and this is what you should see when you open up a raw photo, is that there's four auto checkboxes down here and they're all turned on and, and what camera raws these are all your tonal corrections right here and what camera raw is trying to do is auto correct the the tonality of your photos and you know sometimes it does an okay job at it but really for the most part i i see my photos on my camera and i think they look pretty good i bring them into bridge and i watch those little thumbnails get built and then I think they look really, really bad, and especially when I open them up in Camera Raw. So uh, one of the things that I've done lately is I've turned off these auto settings. Now, if you just want to turn them off for one photo, it's simple. Just go up to this little uh, flyout menu right here, click on that arrow, and you see an option right here that says Use Auto Adjustments. And the keyboard shortcut next to it is Control U on the PC and Command U on the Mac. So if I want to, I can just turn off these auto adjustments just by pressing Control U or Command U. And right there, that takes off all those auto settings and I think makes the photo look better. So that's, that's the way to temporarily get it off. Now, if you want to get them off for good, what you do is go right back up to that same little pop-out menu and choose the option here. It says Save New Camera Raw Defaults. So when I click that, Camera Raw things for a second and saves those as a default, but when I hit done here, watch what happens inside a bridge. See my little my little thinking icon is spinning around down here? And see, just if you, it was kind of hard to see, I hope you got to, to, to watch it, but if you watch, Camera Raw is actually going through and it was actually updating all those thumbnails here inside of bridge. So it's not only just changing what you saw inside that raw dialog, it actually went through and it changed all those thumbnails as well so they don't look really, really bad inside of bridge. So that's how you can turn it off. If I were to go open another one right now, you will see that indeed the auto settings are turned off. So I've now successfully turned off all the auto settings so whenever I open up camera raw, it won't do it anymore. If you ever want to get back to the way it used to be, click on that little pop-up and choose Reset Camera Raw Defaults, and it uses those auto adjustments again, and then you can just go up here, and then you can save your auto adjustments once again. So you can tell Camera Raw that that's what you want to use as the defaults from now on. So you got a couple of options here, but honestly, I've really just gotten away from those auto adjustments, and I prefer to, uh, to take care of doing the adjustments inside of Raw myself. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you again next week.